my dear, we should make sure that we remove that uh, useless woman. Yes, Your Excellency. That is why I brought these guys here to see me. They are going to help you with what you told me about. So, uh, and I've already spoken to them as well. But, uh, I'm, I'm speaking your mind, I think, because you are the expert in this field. And uh, your job. So, anything you want to say now, if you tell, if you tell His Excellency now. Bobby, no bit of blue bad line again. Uh, yes, that's that's what we are talking about. Uh, if, you, if you give us money for materials, if you send us money, we'll, we'll blow on okay, we'll get uh, We'll get money across to you. Uh, Your Excellency, what are we going to offer them? We, if you ask me, I'll answer you that. We shouldn't even waste time. Today you'll be paid 70 million to bomb the pipeline. Thank you, Your Excellency. You have spoken well. Yes, let's see. You can send a boot to us. It's better send a boot to us. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Latest Breeze. Welcome back. This voice note you're listening to is said to be the voice of Akpabio, the ex governor of Akwaibom State, which I know the investigation will still be going on. Yes, now. Without wasting our time, let's look into people's comments and see what people have to say about this voice note. Okay, this one said, This guy is in trouble. Could this finally destroy his political career? We have to be careful what we do. Yes, we have to be careful what we do. If this happens to be his voice note after investigation, I know that it's going to be very bad like... I think it's going to affect his political career because what he was saying here was something very, very bad. How can a, an ex-governor, an indigent, a citizen of Nigeria who happens to be a politician discussing with the militants how to bomb a pipeline, oil pipelines when Nigerians are suffering? All right, let's see this. That voice seems to me like that of Akbabio. Akbabio, okay. It seems to you like that of Akbabio. It seems you know his voice so well. That's okay. More trouble looming. Yes, more trouble looming. After this, that, after that, this. That's how we've been going in Nigeria. Okay. Another one. That's not his voice. Stupid people. Oh. Yes, yeah, stupid people. Yeah, after the investigation, they will know no one is stupid. Okay, what again? It sounded very well like a Babio's voice, but what I don't understand is why they cut the tape without waiting for him to finish talking about bombing the pipeline. They even mixed up his voice with another voice at the same place and cut the tape so something is not adding up something is not adding up yes no one knows until it's finally revealed all right that's the end for now see you when i see you and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also hit the notification button for more updates thanks